Hi friends, my name is V Carter um, and I can't remember if I'm going to tell you this or when I started. Oh, thank you for clicking on my video, I very much appreciate it. I can't think of anything else to say so we're just going to jump straight into this uh, green, mustardy, yellow, transient look. Um, it was honestly a super quick one today um, just because I am about to film another video as well. You'll tell because I'll be wearing the same shit. I just really wanted to film this because I like, I was thinking about it and it was cool and I loved it and it's a conspiracy theory about a cartoon and it's probably one of my favourite cartoons ever and I really wanted to so, so, keep watching if you're interested. Thank you for coming. Hey, bend over. Raise the posterior. Okay, today. Today I've kind of done my face already. Well, kind of. Look, I've kind of done my face. My nose is really itchy. Ah. Okay, so today, look, I've kind of done my face. This is going to be relatively quick, purely because, okay, I've had a theory somewhat similar to this for a little while, and I did a little bit of research, and now my theory is somewhat kind of confirmed. Not confirmed, but validated. Like, it's validated. Um, and... So my theory is kind of validated now, um, and that makes me really happy, because now I know I'm not crazy. Um, but also added some things to it, changed my end perspective just a touch, okay? Okay. So this theory, obviously, because it's probably in the title somewhere, is about Rick and Morty. Hold up, let me take off my glasses, because I can't do my makeup. So we're going to touch up my foundation because it is currently 9 o'clock at night. Yes, I live in Australia. Yes, it's hot as fuck. Yes, I put my air conditioner on 20 degrees just so that I could wear this hoodie because Shane, I love you. <laughs> so, Rick and Morty. Okay. Look, this starts back. So I've kind of, okay. I've, there's a couple. This first one is kind of minor, right? First one being that I always thought, you know how like Rick and Morty takes forever to come out? So my theory, like, okay, so and then the second season came out and there was stuff in the second season that was in the opening credits, like little snippets of it was in the opening credits of the first season. I'm pretty sure that happened. Look, I'm pretty sure that happened. My memory is not the best, but I'm, I'm sure that I noticed that. I might just get my editor, aka my lovely husband, to double check that fact for me and probably write it right here. See if I'm right or wrong. I'm winking a lot in this video and I can't wink. I don't know if you've noticed. I just kind of turned my head so you can't tell that my other eye is not opening. Anyway. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. So I always thought that they was just playing with us and they had actually made it all because... The, there was stuff in the second season and the third that was in the opening credits, like way back in the first season. I went back and... I'm like 99% sure, okay? Look, I love Rick and Morty, I do. I watch it literally daily and I cannot get enough of it. Like, it's my new Simpsons. And we all know how long that lasted. Lasted? Is lasting? Okay, so that's my, that was just something that I concocted in this head right here. Okay, the next one involves Evil Morty. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I don't do an awful lot of Rick and Morty like fan stuff, but I watch it fucking religiously. I love that shit. I love it. So, what I am going off is like a slight, tiny, if minute, and by minute I mean minute amount of research on a site called vice.com that more validated me than anything. Okay? And we're just going to chat about my opinion. Anywho. So, 
we're going to decide what kind of eye we're going to do and then we're going to get into this shit because I just don't know. I want to, okay, so I want to do a yellow, right? But the only yellow that I've got is yellow peppers right here. And that's quite, that's not what I'm focusing is it? <laughs> yeah, it's not very yellow. It's more of like a, maybe if I did yellow peppers and put garlic over it. Or maybe if I transitioned from yellow to green, do you reckon that would work? Look, we'll give it a crack. Seriously, this towel needs a wash. I really need one of those little, I'm pretty sure I've said this in a video before, the things so I can clean my brushes rather than using this. Damn. Hey, bend over. Raise the posterior. Oh, chromulons. Called the chromulons. Gromphlomites. I can't remember what the gromphlomites were, but chromulons. So the chromulons, um, they were the giant heads floating in the sky and they were about to like blow earth up. And so Morty stole Rick's gun, his portal gun, and just fucking bailed. And he was just like aimlessly wandering through different realities until he came across Bird World. Where he was rescued coincidentally because he coincidentally ended up on bird person's doorstep. That's a thing. Surely he couldn't have been that fucking lucky. Hee hoo. So that happened. And in that, like you could clearly see, so he was like, they did like a pan of bird person's wall. When bird person was like reminiscing about Rick and what he had saved him from and all that shit. Right? Right. So, they did that, and you could clearly see a photo of Rick holding a fucking baby. That baby was quite clearly Morty, because they wouldn't have put any other baby in a yellow shirt. But, according to the show's storyline, Morty, I mean Morty, fuck me dead, um, Rick had like abandoned Beth and her mum when Beth was a fucking kid. So he would have never, like for like 20 years before this happened, or I don't really know, but maybe even longer than that before this happened. So he should have theoretically never met Morty. Now, this is kind of back to my opening credits thing, right? It all ties in, it's full circle. So in the opening credits of the thing, there is a Morty and a Rick and they're running and they're getting, chased by these big frog looking things but these frogs got fucking teeth and they were quite they are quite clearly what's the opposite to an omnivore a carnival carnivals they're quite clearly carnivorous frogs right large overgrown carnivorous frogs and rick goes into a portal and leaves morty behind and just before the scene cuts out they're literally like on top of him about to fucking eat him. So, here's my theory. Morty, C-137, is not Rick's original Morty. And Morty, or and Rick, the Rick C-137, is not actually Rick C-137. He just took C-137's place. Right? Much like Rick and Morty took the place of whatever reality that they're in now. But they're still Rick and Morty C-137. So, my theory is that Rick took another Rick's entire identity basically and took over c137 when actual fact right his original morty he raised stay with me there was some kind of thing in his reality in his original reality where he raised morty and summer um or maybe just morty i don't know something happened to beth and jerry um or you know i i don't obviously know the specifics of it because it's a fucking conspiracy theory you know so yeah so my theory is that rick raised his original morty his original morty from his original reality which is not c137 right and he got well done in essentially by these frogs these big ass big ass frogs but because he was raised by Rick, 
And this is where I kind of got validated on Vice.com because I was like, yes, queen, that's what I'm talking about. Because originally I just kind of thought, well, he's Morty died and that's why he's all reminiscent. But nay, nay. I don't think he, I don't think Rick is entirely aware of this in the series, that his Morty didn't actually die. Um, or he might not have even died by the frogs, but I'm like, that's my theory. But Morty thought that he died, right? Or Rick thought that Morty had, his original Morty had died and he kind of changed his tune. He kind of became like this loving Rick. He found himself a new family and a new Morty and just a new like thing. Um, maybe that's why he hates Jerry so much too. Like in his original reality, Jerry's just a fuckwit. Um, who treats Morty like shit, and maybe that's why he ended up raising Morty. I don't really know. That would be a cool theory. See, we're, we're learning new things together today. Um, so, I don't think Rick knows that his Morty, his original Morty, is actually still alive, right? So, my theory is that because his original Morty was raised by him and not raised by Jerry, um... <laughs> Because he was raised by, he's smart. He gets out of the situation with the frogs. Again, stay with me. He gets out of the situation with the frogs, right? He becomes, dun dun dun, dun evil Morty. Mic drop. So because he was raised by Rick, he's smart, right? He's smart, he's intelligent, he learnt lots, like he's all... You know, he's not a complete fucking dumbass like his dad. Because he was raised by Rick from, like, birth. You know? Um. So he becomes Evil Morty. How can you not love that? Oh, I'm so excited. I reckon they'll have some big face-off. Um, and it'll be a whole thing. It'll probably be in season 9 when Rick finally gets his fucking Szechuan sh 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 sauce. But still, like, bro, it's just mind-blowing. So my original theory, when I was just thinking all this shit up on my own, was that his original Morty had actually died. Like, as soon as I saw that picture um, in Bird Person's house, FYI, still need me some Phoenix Person, thank you, was that his original Morty had died. Especially when I saw the frog thing, you know, I kind of put those two together. That's how I did that. Um, and... Man, I'm doing this on an odd angle today. And so, like, yeah, my, my original, and then I went on, and then I was on vice.com because why wouldn't I be? Um, and they were like evil Morty, and I was like, Do -do -do. look, we saved it a little bit. So, yeah, I full thought, I full had it all in my head, all good to go, that his original Morty was just dead and he was just like hella sad about it and that's why he wasn't your usual, typical, I don't care about my fucking grandkids, Rick, like all of the others are. Because he was actually a little sentimental about his Morty being dead and him being the one that caused it. So, so yeah, so that's... But then, I was on Vice.com, right? And they were like, nay nay. Actually, don't say nay nay. I can't say that because Bailey Sarian says that and that is copying. Let's just wait for that shit to dry. See, I don't like that. See that pink bit? I don't like that. But if I put it any further in my mouth, it's gonna go on my teeth. Look, if you've got any tips on it for me to have to do my makeup, oh fuck, by all means. Any hootsie. So, I full thought, yep, he was dead, he's sentimental as fuck, it's fine, it's all good. And then, I was on Vice.com, and they were like, no, 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 no. His Morty, because he was intelligent, because in his reality he was raised by Rick, he got out of his situation with the carnivorous fucking giant frogs, and he became evil Morty to get revenge. How can you not agree with that shit? So, you're welcome 
to all you lovely Rick and Morty fans. Let me know if you agree. Um, I don't know, I'm, like, I'm all for hearing. Like, this is honestly just something that I kind of thought up with, like, a little bit of help and validation um, from this website that I've never heard of before. I honestly just Googled Evil Morty, or, no, like, Rick and Morty conspiracy, and it came up with that. So I was like, you'll do, boo. Um, and because I had been thinking about it for so long, I was like, yes, sir. Uh, um, so let me know what you think, if you think it's right, if I've missed anything, if there's any information that would contradict it or prove it or, I will not prove it, but you know, validate it, um, that you know that I missed, that I don't know. I'm so keen to hear it because I love this shit and I love Rick and Morty and we can talk about this for days. Cool? All right. Love you all. My name is V Carter. Feel free to press that big red subscribe button and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, friends.